from the beautiful Duke Gardens on Duke University campus in Durham, North Carolina. We're going to get the shot today with the Canon R5 and the Canon RF 70 to 200 f4 lens. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here today at Duke Gardens once again for another episode of Getting the Shot. Today I've got the Canon R5 with me and the 24, or sorry, the 70 to 200 f4 lens. We're going to see what kind of shots we can get here, how this lens does. I won't compare it to the f2.8. I don't have the f2.8. We're going to roam around Duke Gardens, get some shots. I'll throw in some video here. The video today is shot on the Osmo Pocket. Okay, and here are some of the shots. These are some flowers when we first come in. You'll be able to see all the information here. ISO, shutter speed, focal length. This is at 158 and f4. Nice crisp details. Even at f4, focus pretty good. Probably would be better at f2.8. So this is a raw file, no edits. And here is the JPEG out of the camera. So again, these photos that you'll see are not edited in any way. The JPEGs, obviously the camera does the editing, but some shots. Here is a raw file. It's a couple flowers shot at F8. And you can see the shutter speed is 1 80th here. So in a couple places I wanted to see how good the stabilization is. This lens does have image stabilization and the IBIS and the R5 is, is pretty good. And this is the JPEG with just some minor edits, a standard profile. So I wandered over to the main gardens. I'll show you that in one second. But this place is crazy crowded. Let's uh, have a look. All the beautiful flowers here. I'm sitting on a stone bench. See all the people here today. Hard time finding parking. Got to be out of here by three. It's about 1:30. There's a wedding here today. Can just imagine having my wedding <laughs> and reception here. So beautiful. So I either have shown or will show some of the pictures here from the tulips. I'll try to get some detailed shots. The 70 to 200 is really good for detailed shots. Not going to really get obviously any wide shots at 70. We're going to get some creative shots and hopefully some good shots with this R5 and the 72. And here is an iris, I believe. Just love the colors here. Shot at 200 millimeters, F8. ISO 100. At 45 megapixel definitely comes through here. The lens is super sharp. And again, you can see the bokeh even at F4. Pretty, pretty impressive. Here is a blue iris, I believe. 200 millimeters F8 again. Pretty nice, I'll show you that. That is the, the JPEG. And then here's another, maybe better shot. Look at the crisp details you can see here. Nice colors. Again, this lens is really good for getting these kind of Long range shots. All right, 82 millimeters here, from top down view. Again, you can see just the, the detail. We're at ISO 100, this is the JPEG. And then I'll show you the difference here between, so this is a raw file again, no edits have been made here. Really nice detail. We're zoomed in to 200%, by the way. So this is more than most people would go as far as pixel peeping goes. If we go out to 100%, pretty good. I'm not sure what all of these flowers are. I'm not sure what this one is, but I love the, the iridescent colors here. This one was at 186 millimeters, F8. One two hundredth on the shutter, just, I think, I just love, love the colors. And here's a similar one, just different color. And these are all in the main garden. Again, just to kind of show depth of field here and what you can get. This is 184, so nearly all the way extended. Just look at the detail 
So again, we'll go at 200%. You can see every little detail on these flowers. These are tulips. I'll show you the JPEG here. This is, these are two irises, and you can see even at f8, we've got nice clear focus here on the front one, and the back one you can see is out of focus. So the closer you get, obviously the depth of field gets thinner. Here is a Japanese bridge, one of the kind of the center points of Duke Gardens. You can see quite a few people. The place was really, really crowded, and here is the JPEG. Just a really pretty flower. I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it was just along the trail as I was walking over to the pond. Look at the detail. Let's go into 200%. Just really nice. So I just got some ducks over here at the pond leading to the Japanese bridge. And a few duck friends over here. Couple anyway. Very peaceful spot over here. There are a lot of people, but sitting on a bench by the pond. Pretty nice. And there is the docks over there. Get some shots of that. All right, onward to some more pictures. Probably next at the waterfall. I tried to do some lower light photography here. We're kind of in the shade. So we're at 70 millimeters and 1 80th of a second. I wanted to see how I could do hand holding. This lens does have IS as I mentioned, but not uh, not the sharpest photo. So trying to determine what is the slowest shutter speed. So here is the wood duck that I happened upon. And this one looks Okay, there's some motion blur there too because he was not sitting still. 1 60th. Another shot. Just love the colors again. Not the sharpest, but definitely love the colors and the sharpness on this lens. Also wanted to just go walk you through the range here and the aperture. So this is at f4. This pretty flower that was along the trail. 5.6 so you can see things come into a little sharper focus I've done a ton of, of at f8 so this one is f6.3 and then we go to f9 where it looks really good I think probably f8 f9 are the sharpest for this particular lens and f11 I was down at 1 60th again so this is probably more blur from the slower shutter speed. I wanted to take a different angle on the bridge. You can see here, again, fairly crowded day, but this is at 73 millimeters in F4. Had to stand way back. We're at 1 640th. So these, this lens is really tight, obviously, at 70 being the widest, but I can tell you I carried this around for the entire trip walked maybe a couple of miles, just carried it in my hand with the R5, and it was really not bad at all. So I made it over to the waterfall, just snapped a shot of it, setting on another bench, lots of benches around, really peaceful spot. People gathered to take some pictures. I'm going to hit a couple more spots and then that's going to be it for this Canon R5 with the 70 to 200 f4 video. Grab some more shots. So here is the waterfall. And again, I've got some slower shutter speeds. This is at 1 40th. So you get a little bit of that creamy effect, but not too much. And I usually make this a dynamic range shot to see. Dynamic range on this Canon, Canon is not great compared to, say, Sony. But let's just see what we can do here from a dynamic range perspective. And yeah, it does look HDR-ish, but I'd say the Sony did a better job. Um, I did one with the Sony recently, and I think you get a deeper range on these dynamic range shots, but still looks pretty good. 
And here's my attempt to go down to 1 30th and that did not work. So I think 1 80th is probably the safest I can get with this particular combo, but my hands aren't extremely steady. So. Here's one at 1 80th and you can see it looks, looks pretty good, sharp detail. I think that's probably about the best that I could do. Your mileage will vary, obviously. If you have a steadier hand, you might be able to get down to 1 40th or right, potentially even lower. And here's a view from above, looking at all the people and all the flowers. You can see all these tulips and irises and all kinds of different flowers here. A little gazebo, vestibule kind of thing over here. Just a, a few more shots here. Just wanted to show you kind of the isolation again that you can get even, you know, at f4 compared to the 2.8 lens. I don't know, there's probably a difference, but I think that looks pretty good. We're out at 200 millimeters, so this is as far as we can zoom in. But again, everything looks good, color clarity, all that stuff. And then the last one here is a peony, which they have kind of near, they've got a little snack bar there you can get. And that is the raw file. And that is the JPEG. So those are the shots that I wanted to show you with this Canon R5 and the RF 70 to 200 F4. Well, that's gonna do it for another episode of Getting the Shot. Hope you enjoyed this video from the beautiful Sarah P. Duke Gardens, Durham, North Carolina. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And I will talk at you again in the next video. Very close to the car. We can actually put